Today, using the just four images, I am going to create this entire 3D scene. The scene itself is very simple. But while building it, I will explain you all the concepts of 3D camera in After Effects. So to create that in a new com, let's add the background. Let's press on S and scale this up a bit. Perfect. In order to make the background little blur, I'm going to add the Gaussian blur on top of it. So let's search for that. Let's keep it around 15. Perfect. Now let's place our characters in front of it. I will place the soldier. Perfect. Now let's place the prince and the princess. Now let's start adding the camera. To add one, you need to right click over here, go to new and add the camera. Once the camera opens, you have multiple options in front of you. We'll go through a lot of these options while creating the animation. For now, just choose the preset as 35mm and just press on OK. Once the camera is created, we have to ensure that all the other layers are made 3D as well. So let's turn them 3D from over here. In case you don't see these options, you can toggle them on and off from over here. The first button on the corner. Perfect. Now in order to handle the camera, we'll also add the null object. So let's right click, go to new and add the null object. This null object will act as the camera controller. So let's make it 3D as well. And now as it's going to handle the camera, we have to ensure that this camera is connected to a null object. So for that, we'll go to parent and link, take this pickwick and connect it to a null tree. Let's going to rename this and call this as the controller. Perfect. Now let's start with our animation. At the beginning from 0 to 2 seconds, we are only going to animate these three images. For that, we'll select the prince as well as the soldier. Press on P for position. Let's add a keyframe in both of them. Drag this ahead to around 2 seconds. Before we make any change, we have to ensure that this layer of princess is connected to the prince using this pickwick. Perfect. That way any change that we do in this layer will also impact the princess layer. So now at the beginning, we have to just shift this down. Like this. Perfect. Now selecting both the keyframes, just press on F9 to easy ease. Okay, looks good enough. If we have to do any change, we can do it later by simply playing around with these keyframes. Now let's start playing around with our camera. Before we do that, firstly come over here and select two views. Right now the camera is over here and all the images that you see are on top of each other. To see this better, you can come over here and select the orbit around tool. If I orbit this, you can see all the images are together. But in order to add that blur effect which you saw initially, we need to keep some gap between the images. For that, we can simply select our castle, press on P, see we have the X, Y and the Z position. So this Z position is nothing but the Z space in which we can take this image back or in the front. So right now, I'm just going to shift this back, see like this. You can see over here, the image is going back. Let's shift it all the way back. Don't worry about the size, you can always press on S and scale this up like this. Perfect. You can see over here, nice. We are going to do the same for the soldier, selecting the soldier. This time, we have to only ensure that when we drag this back, we don't drag it more than 2179. Because if we drag it more than 2179, basically the soldier will go behind this image, basically behind our castle image. So we can drag it and keep it any space between 0 and 2000. So let's keep this around 500 or 1000 like this. Perfect. I'm going to use the same over here, which is 883. Now we can increase the scale as well. Perfect. So if you look over here, let me zoom out a bit as well. Perfect. So right now, the camera is over here and we have kept a space between the prince and the princess, the soldier and the background. Perfect. I hope you are getting this. So now once the images are in place, now let's start with the animation. Firstly, going over here, select in the controller, let's press on P for position, add a keyframe. Let's take it ahead to around 2 seconds. Perfect. At this position, I want it like this. And now at the beginning, we can simply zoom in. Let's zoom in like this. And let's take it over here. Perfect. 
let's see nice but now in order to give it some easing we'll select both the keyframes press on f9 and now going to the graph editor it's going to create a graph like this simply take this handle and drag it to the right let's drag it little to the right as well perfect but see we are making one mistake over here right now when this is zooming out like this i want the focus to be only on the prints so right now i can see this clear as well this is not really blurred you in the background could be more blurred in order to create the focus only on the prints we have to toggle what important switch which is nothing but the depth of field so coming over here in the camera options you see this depth of field right now it's turned off all you need to do is simply turn it on okay see right now you might wonder that no change happened but don't worry we'll make that change happen in a minute so let's go back so now if we come over here i wrote it this and let's decrease the focus distance a bit see when i turn this on and off you see the focus distance is changing so with depth of field you control how much of the scene is in focus at that same time so basically at this point it 2 seconds how much of the scene is in focus so in order to control the focus you can simply play around with the focus distance and aperture let me show you so firstly at the beginning we can decrease the focus that way this will be blurred let's add a keyframe as we go to 2 seconds at this point i want the focus to be on the prints see over here the prints layer if i move it a bit see the prints layer is over here so i'll do one thing i will simply decrease the focus distance so like this perfect and now in order to blur the soldier you can simply increase the aperture nice see it will take some trial and error but now as you can see the soldier is blurred out you can immediately check that by simply turning the depth of field on and off right now it's on see this is how it was see immediately you can understand a difference right perfect so we had this first scene beautiful let's zoom in a bit so now from 2 to 2.5 seconds till here we will simply shift this little to the right so to do that again let's go to the controller press on p let's shift it little to the right like this perfect this was little fast i'm going to keep it at 3 seconds now again going to the graph editor let's select this perfect and keep it in the center like this nice at this point i'm going to add the text let's make it 3d as well press on p let's drag it little up over here perfect i'll quickly animate this perfect see we can do one more thing when it shifts little to the right we can play around with the blur level So at two seconds, we can add a keyframe over here. At around 2.5, we can increase it so it becomes little blur. Then again at three seconds, we can again decrease it and keep it at 100%. So now if you see this, looks pretty cool, right? So now from three seconds to around six seconds, we are going to zoom in on the princess. So for that again, let's go to the controller here. Let's go to around six seconds and let's change the position. perfect when i'm changing the position i'm also going to zoom in a bit like this looks awesome right you can see how much difference the depth of field makes perfect also the easing looks awesome if i go to graph editor so it's quite simple we have got a simple easing like this perfect when this is moving i'm going to simply add a keyframe over here in transparency okay let me make this nil awesome let me make a copy of this drag this ahead let's keep it in front of the princess let's change the text perfect let's see nice so let me show you the final trick here we have to take away the focus from the princess and you have to bring the focus on the soldier remember the soldier is the middle layer So for that we have to simply take the camera inside. To do that, let's again select the controller. Let's bring it at this point. Let's zoom out a bit from here. So let's say around 12 seconds. 
we are going to zoom in so let's start zooming in like this let's keep it in the center keep it up perfect but see over here we are making one mistake when this is happening the focus is not really changing to change the focus let's go over here in our camera options over here we'll play around with the aperture so let's add a keyframe in aperture as we move ahead to around 12 seconds we'll simply increase the aperture so let's increase the aperture over here See now you might wonder when we increase the aperture the entire image became blurred that's because we haven't really changed yet the focus distance so now coming over here let's add a keyframe in the focus distance as we move ahead at this point we want to change the distance from this princess to the soldier so let's increase the focus distance like this perfect If you feel this is too slow, you can keep it around 10 seconds. That's fine, not an issue. But you can understand the difference, right? When you change the focus distance, that you can see over here in our second view. See, this is the middle line, the focus distance. When we changed it and kept it on the soldier, this is the one which came in our depth of field and became clear, while everything else, like this princess, it became blurred. Perfect. Now, in order to complete the scene, let me add the audio as well. Let's see it from the start. Perfect. Looks awesome, right? So as you just saw, we could create this entire three-dimension scene with just four images. This is the power of 3D camera in After Effects. Once you understand this and practice this, you can apply the same logic for creating any sort of 3D scene in After Effects. So that's it guys for this tutorial. If you loved this short tutorial, let me know in the comments. And if you want to see more such videos in future, make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you very soon next time.